What's up guys, I'm Dostar and this is Unmetal. Alright, we are back. Um, I decided to move the camera because even though the camera down here blocks some of the subtitles, I was re-watching the first couple episodes and it was blocking some of the gameplay. So. We're going to keep it down here and see how this goes. Let's get our severed arm, which who knows what we do with that. Very interesting. Oh, I can't roll over that. Um, how am I supposed to check the depth of the water? Sunglasses? No. No. Use toilet paper? No. Bandages. Handkerchief. Jesse here. Over. Shit, there's no signal down here. Okay. What am I? <laughs> am I dumb? How would I check the depth of the water? The severed arm. I dipped the severed arm Here we in the go. water to calculate the depth. As soon as I did, it started shaking. When I pulled it back out, there was nothing but bones. Ooh. I couldn't explain what I saw, but my instincts told me this water might be dangerous. I'm not gonna lie. I had trouble getting where I needed to go. In fact, I had to build a floating platform to get through. Worse yet, Everything down there was out for my blood. Now I can cross. Got it. Plastic drum. Oh. Hold on, Mr. Fox. Okay. What exactly did you say attacked you? <laughs> what you just heard. Some sort of hybrid between piranha and human. A human piranha attacked you? I see. And in your opinion, could you elaborate how this hybrid could exist? That question kept gnawing at the back of my brain the entire day. <laughs> I dwelt on it over and over again. And after seeing everything I saw on that base, their facilities, their experiments, their labs, I reached the only logical explanation. And what was that, Mr. Fox? Scientist. A creepy scientist must have wanted to create a child of his own. Must have wanted but to realizing create. Realizing he accidentally used piranha DNA, he deemed the child a monster. He <laughs> held it up, looked <laughs> deep into its fishy, loving eyes, and flushed it down the toilet with no care for its feelings. Holy Jesus. When the piranha <laughs> ended up in the sewers, it started multiplying and shared its story of betrayal to all of its new piranha offspring. The same ones that attacked me. I love how ridiculous this game is. Can I use my radio here, maybe? Jesse here, over. Shit, there's no, no. signal down here. I thought maybe. <clears throat> because the sunlight was coming in. Oh, um, oh, I didn't mean to do that. Another plastic drum. Okay. And what do these do? Doesn't tell me. Okay. There's no way to get experience down here, I guess. Which is not cool. Oh, hello. Hello. 
Where is there a phone? Hello? Oh. There we go. It was my radio. <laughs> my bad. There was no signal down in the sewers. Have you already escaped? Where are you now? Not much progress. I should still be near the prisons. Are you kidding me, Fox? <laughs> You're still too damn close. You need to travel farther before coming topside. I know, but there are sewer channels blocking my way. Then build something to cross them, Fox. Find some materials. Where are you exactly? I think I'm in the office of some sort of officer. You should search for classified files about Operation Jericho. Take them with you. They're up to something. I don't know why. <coughs> we okay. must find out. Operation Jericho, you say? Before leaving the office, I searched for the documents. The documents. Oh, the filing cabinets. Okay, got some files. Before leaving the office, I called Harris to let him know that I found the files. Got it. Colonel, do you copy? Copy. I found some documents. Operation Jericho. Looks like it talks about an attack plan. Attack against what, son? I have no idea. It's encoded. I'll keep searching for more documents, Colonel. For more documents. Operation Jericho is a rumor only known by a few officers and, of course, the enemy. How did you find out about it, Mr. Fox? As I told you, Colonel Harris asked me to search for files about it. The deceased Colonel Harris? Yes. I had the feeling that this officer didn't believe anything I was saying. <laughs> <laughs> it's understandable. I don't believe you either. <laughs> Dude, this oh, game really? is so crazy. Well, me to tell you the story. Well, I like the way you tell it. And since there are no theaters here. Great. So, what was Operation Jericho? Turns out that location was actually a clandestine base with a company codenamed X Army, commanded by someone named <laughs> Everything's X. X. They were planning a large scale attack against Allied posts. And that plan was? Be patient. That comes later. Hey! Don't be like that. Come on, tell me. The officer that was taking my statement was also curious about what I knew. And what exactly do you know about Operation Jericho, Mr. Fox? That it was a hell of an operation. Harris okay. and I knew the details thanks to the files we found. Correction, I found. Again, how much did you exactly find out? Let me continue. You'll find out later. What? Oh, I need a key card? Alright. Um. Oh, there's stairs here. Oh, right, 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 right. Um. I considered floating the drums on the water and walking across, but they weren't very stable. Okay. What can I combine them with? Move the right stick over any item to bind a shortcut. Move it later in the game to select the item directly. Oh, shortcut. So let me see. I select this and then do that. Okay. I get it. More plastic drums. Sergeant 
Roscoe here. Roscoe. Escape? How? Through the sewers? Shit. Shit. No, don't send anyone. If he hides like a rat, he will die like a rat. Switch on the shredders. <laughs> okay. Oh. I can roll under. Get out from your hole, you cowardly vermin! God. <laughs> Look what the cat dragged in. The escaped prisoner. You got some big balls coming here, rodent. The situation was Fubar. He was armed and hunkered down behind his desk. I was screwed. So what did you do? In five nanoseconds, I scrutinized the room and noticed a very subtle detail. There was a large globe in the <laughs> middle of the room. I already had what I needed to take him down. Okay. Oh, the death montage. Can't shoot at an angle. Good God. Okay. Good God. Oh my God, dude. Oh my God. I pressed the wrong button. No. We're getting better. We're learning. Adapting. Oh my god, dude. Jesus. Ow. Oh my god. God damn it, dude. Too early? Dude. Okay, we didn't get shot. That's good. Okay, good, good. Good, good. Things are going well. Okay, yeah. Oh, nice. Boss defeated. We did it, baby. First try, easy, GG. First aid kit, first aid kit, nothing, nothing. Ah, the key card, nothing else. Okay, what about this box? Another first aid? Awesome. Okay, key card time, baby. Now we're making some progress. And you know what? While we're here, if you guys could take a second and like As and subscribe, down the it would really help me. Walk, I noticed a path nearby I couldn't reach. Why not? It was across the sewer water. What was the distance to the other side? One yard. A yard, more or less. Couldn't you just jump it? Since I was captured, I didn't jump a single time, and I wasn't <laughs> going to start now. I realized I needed something to cross to the other side. Obtain a platform. Will do. Now we have the key card, yes. Ooh, we're back outside. It's over here. Heading east. Oh, I a ran dog. Into a, hound. a puppy. You didn't hurt it, did you? A puppy? That monster was the size of a horse. <laughs> Even so, I wanted to see if it was friendly. Puppy, puppy, are you a good boy? But that hound was trained to kill. Its bloody eyes looked at me like I was a well-done steak. Ew, well done? Um, should I fight it? Okay. Right.
Is there anything else over there that we would need? Not really. I'm sure we'll get some item. That's okay. Okay, got it. We haven't been in here. It's the restroom. Yes. So we can save it. Game saved, baby. Okay. That's going to do it for today's episode. I'll see you guys in the next one. Love you guys. Peace.